We're here to answer your game, gaming, and game night questions. You can send your questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop. Uh, social media works too. We're everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Now, the best way is for questions come through the website. I am not going to say no to a question asked anywhere. So far, nobody has asked, what's the best version of Monopoly out there? All right, first off, before you, before I tell you about the five best versions of Monopoly, I want to note something. Uh, this goes back to our topic three weeks ago now, I might be off on this, where we talked about house rules. Because Monopoly is by far the most house-ruled game of all time. Now, I'm not going to get into why at this point, but I will note these house rules that people don't necessarily realize are house rules are things like putting money on free parking, allowing players to build houses and hotels on one property instead of having to spread them out evenly over all your properties, rewarding you for landing on go or completely avoiding the whole auction phase, right? You knew there was an auction phase in Monopoly? Well, many people don't didn't even know or didn't learn until much later in life that there were that they were house rules. The game is simply mistaught in most cases. Now, what I want everyone to do before you decide you don't like a game or you don't enjoy a game, not just Monopoly, any game, make sure you're playing by the proper rules. After your first play of a game that doesn't go well, take the time to review the rule book, check for an FAQ, check online for an errata, and make sure you're playing the game the way it was designed to be played. Some games might, just might not be for you, and that's fine, sure. but make sure you're judging the game and not how someone other than the designer thought it should be played. Exactly. Now with that PSA out of the way, let's move on to some great Monopoly games. So number one, this is the best Monopoly game in the world. This is Monopoly Deal. This is a two to five player quick playing card game that plays in about 15 minutes. It's a set collection game where players are trying to be the first to collect three full property sets of different colors. It features multi-use cards that can be used to either take actions or as money. Each turn, players draw two cards, then play up to three cards. Cards can be played as property, as money, or as an action, depending on which card it is. Actions let you do very Monopoly-like things, like collect rent, receive money, and acquire properties from other players. And that was Monopoly Deal. The second best Monopoly game in the world is Monopoly Gamer. Now, don't just think that Monopoly Gamer is Monopoly with a Nintendo theme on it, with Nintendo game properties and Mario and that. No, this is actually um, more character-driven. You're actually going to pick a popular Nintendo character to play. Base game comes with four, but you can actually buy expansion packs for more. And then each of these characters has two special abilities, giving the game an asymmetric element, something everyone that listens to the show should know I enjoy. Now, the goal of Monopoly Gamer isn't to be the last person with money. Instead, it's to earn the most points. And you get points by collecting coins and buying properties with those coins and winning boss fights. Each turn, you roll a movement die and a power-up die. And then you decide, what do you want to use first, your power-up or the movement, which adds a lot of strategy to each game, or tactics, sorry, tactics to each game. Many of the power-ups cause your opponents to drop their coins on the board so someone else can pick them up. So you might want to hit Mario, who's ahead of you, with a Koopa shell so you can move up and grab his coins after he drops them. Now, bosses come up every time you pass go. To fight a boss, you need to spend coins to enter the fight, and then you roll a die to see if you beat a number on the card. If you beat it, you get a reward, which is worth so many points. If you lose, then the next player can fight the boss if they want. Keep going around the table until the boss is beat or everyone's had a chance to fight it. Now, the game ends when you get to the final boss, which is, of course, Bowser. And once Bowser is defeated, the game ends. Now, no, that means there is no player elimination in this version of Monopoly. And that was Monopoly Gamer. All right, I'm kind of cheating by putting this as number three because it's a very similar game. This is Monopoly Gamer Mario Kart. This is basically Monopoly, Monopoly Gamer. Almost everything is identical in this game as the other, but it's not just a retheme. Some rule changes are in there from Monopoly Gamer. Now, the biggest change in Monopoly Gamer Mario Kart is the boss fights are taken out and replaced by races. Races where players in first, second, and third place get rewards. Players must pay a buy-in pay in coins to race. Races are really simple. Everyone just rolls a D6. Whoever gets highest gets first. Whoever gets second highest gets second and third. 
and so on. And um, you get points. Whoever wins the race gets the card and the points. Everyone else is going to get coins. Other changes include the ability to drop bananas, which stop players in their spot, just like in the video game, and boost pad spaces that race you around the board that make the game a little quicker than normal Monopoly and Monopoly Gamer. And similar to the original game, it comes with four characters. You can buy additional booster packs with additional characters. And that is Monopoly Gamer Mario Kart. Next, Monopoly the Mega Edition. Now, I got to say, when I see the Mega Edition, I think, oh, my God, it's Monopoly, but like twice as long with twice as much stuff going on. Interestingly enough, it's the exact opposite of that. This is a version of Monopoly that you can play at max an hour and a half. It's actually a quicker version. Now, this plays two to eight players, so it also plays additional players. It features a larger board with some new features. So there's train depots, skyscrapers, nine new properties, and the $1,000 bill. One of the biggest things to speed up the game is in addition to rolling your two dice to move, you also roll a speed die. If the right symbol is rolled, it lets you instantly move to the next unowned property on the board. That is the big fist. Like, I, as soon as I heard this, I'm like, take that die and put it in your normal game of Monopoly 2. And they accept that in your house ruling. So <laughs> and we're ignoring our own PSA. Now, later in the game, once everything is bought, it just jumps you to the next property you owe rent on. The game also includes bus cards that you get from the community chest that will allow you to move anywhere on the board when spent. Now, another significant change is that some of the property sets have gone up to four properties, but you only have to own three to be able to build. Now, the other addition is when you're building, in addition to building hotels, you can then upgrade one hotel to a skyscraper, which is, of course, worth the most rent in the game. Well, and that is Monopoly the Mega Edition. And finally, the last of the top five Monopoly games is Monopoly Express. This is a roll and write version of Monopoly. Roll and writes are super hot right now. This has been out for a long time, though. This is not a brand new shiny roll and write. Players are trying to collect sets of properties, which are valued and color coded based on the original game. You're going to, this plays two to four players, about 20 minutes. You want to be the first player to reach a set number of points. The number of points is determined by the number of people playing. Each turn, you're going to roll 10 dice. Dice that show policemen, like the go-to-jail symbol, are set aside. Players select a number of dice to keep in the tableau, and they can keep re-rolling. And then you can re-roll any number of times, but any time you get three policemen, your turn is over and you make no points. Either, so it's, it's got to push your luck element there. Now, the dice you kept are get to put on a player board and score points. And again, this is based on basic Monopoly, so you need whatever, two purples to complete that set and three yellows and so on. It's the same same ratio that you would find in the board game. If you complete a set, you score a points for all your complete sets. But if you don't manage to complete a set, then you just add up the values on the dice because each of the dice has a numbers on, numbers on them. There are also rules for houses and hotels, and then there's a special pass-go symbol that lets you get 200 bucks and keep rolling and so on. A little bit more details to this game. Now, it is worth noting that Monopoly Express is actually an updated version of an older dice game called Don't Go to Jail. That version has slightly different rules. For example, instead of the policeman, you had dice that said go to jail, and you had to roll all three words to stop rolling. And there were no rules for houses and hotels in that original version. This does rate better. Everyone who's reviewed this says that the Express version is better. Well, and that was Monopoly Express. All right, I want to finish off by saying, yes, of course, this was meant to be a bit tug-in-cheek. Uh, we are recording this episode on April 1st right now. Despite the fact that, yes, this is a bit of an April Fool's joke, I did actually do some research for this article. The five games I talked about tonight are literally the highest-ranked Monopoly games on BoardGameGeek, the number one site for board game information on the Internet, for anyone who doesn't know it. Uh, while the topic may have been a bit of a joke, I do stand by these actual game recommendations. All of these games promise to be significantly better than the original Monopoly and decent games that stand on their own. Now, what's interesting about this, and Mo had no idea, is that I actually just bought Classic Monopoly at the demand <laughs> of my wife and kids wow. as an Easter gift. Now, I tried to convince them otherwise, letting them <laughs> keep assuring them that there really are better versions of Monopoly out there, but I failed, so it seems I will get a chance to see wow. what Monopoly is like with kids uh, and I will not be allowing house rules in my plays to start. No. I like Monopoly Gamer. Your kids are into games. Like, uh, it just makes perfect sense. I, I Like, Monopoly Gamer sounds like a, <laughs> a good game. Like, yeah. not not a, not a horrible game. It's probably... Well, to be fair, generous. 
even classic Monopoly is going to be better than the kids version of Monopoly yes. that someone got my daughter at some point where there are like birthday parties and things instead of properties and there's no building and it's it's awful. I mean, it's Candyland wow. the Monopoly. It's, it really is. <laughs> well, that's it for our thoughts on the main topic tonight. Be sure to head over to the blog at tabletopbellhop.com where you can find this and other gaming advice articles by clipping, clicking on Gaming Advice. All right, well, now that we're done with our thoughts on the main topic, we're going to pop into the lobby and back into the uh, Ask Me Anything where we're going to talk about uh, the AMA. All right, so first, though, any comments on the top five Monopoly game list? I think I see a couple I might have missed there, at least one. Uh, so interestingly, the one thing we talked about a couple of weeks ago was the uh, electronic version. Now, I went looking for it, and there's an older electronic version where they just replace the the money with debit cards and visa cards or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and apparently it, it was supposed to play a bit quicker, but reviews sounded like the, it didn't really make much difference. The cards were really low quality and would break down quickly. But the version I found when I was looking online actually was different it used more like a sort of a qr code on the back of cards that, that you tapped and actually talked about the prices the market prices fluctuating uh yeah that sounds cool now interestingly i didn't find it listed under monopoly on the hasbro website so it may be uh. out of print right now but uh, that one actually looked interesting because i think market fluctuations are a really interesting aspect and a nice way to replace the auction which a lot of people just don't want to deal don't with. use anyway yeah, yeah. So I see Ryan recommended Monopoly Tropical Tycoon DVD version. That is one. The only reason I know about this game is Tom Vassell has raved about that, of it being his favorite version of Monopoly. I have heard that is really good. Um, it introduces the rule that every version of Monopoly should use. The game ends when one player is eliminated. The player with the most money wins. I have heard of the house rule. We should have included that because that's a solid house rule for yeah. making Monopoly end. Um, I personally think grab that die from the Mega Monopoly and use that exact same rule, that if you roll the thing, you just skip to the next unknown property, yep. which I think is a great way to just keep the game progressing without... I don't. I can't see how that would break the game in any way. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Another one that is supposedly fantastic and is it is rated by, again, this is the Dice Tower, and I can't remember if it was Tom or someone else, as both the best and the worst Monopoly game on the market is um, Hotels, Monopoly Hotels. Now, this doesn't look anything like Monopolies. It's got, like, three plastic towers, and you're sliding in floors. And But again, Tom said this is a great game. Like, it's, like, Monopoly deal. Anytime I go online and I post something to do with Monopoly, I'll get three or four people bashing it, like, yeah, yeah, Monopoly's terrible. But then I'll have someone go, but have you played Monopoly deal? Everyone says Monopoly deal is fantastic. Like, I strongly stand by the, that recommendation, though I have to admit I haven't played the game myself. This is how Tom talks about this Monopoly Hotels. But the reason it's the worst Monopoly is it is the dumbest box I have ever seen for a board game where it like it's all spiky and there's a round curvy bit like it looks Ooh. like a convention center in 3D. Like Ooh. there is no way you're putting this on any shelf anyone owns. Right. It looks great on a merchandising shelf yes. in a toy store. But when you actually think about the storage potential, oh, someone it's... failed their role. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is absolutely terrible. It is it is like one of the worst game boxes. Like, I'm not a fan of tins because they don't look good on my shelf. Like, this thing is, like, spiky and a big round part. Oh, it's, it is horrible. 